Persona 5 Steelbook Edition. This is just, well, it's just the Steelbook, cool cover art. It has all the major characters on it. That's a cool thing. But the thing that pisses me uh, uh, freaking off about this whole thing with Atlas. All, pu all, all publicity. There's good publicity. You share the videos like for any other gaming company out there. They get, they get more sales that way because people were like, hmm, I'm a bit skeptical about this. I just wait until the gameplay footage is out and everything. And what will get some more money that way? So that's a good idea. But to Atlas, you need to follow the guidelines for making this, these videos. It can only go up to a certain point and the first three major events that they call it or something like that. And then that's it. You can't play the game anymore. Well, at least for sharing was. You can still play the game. You can't share anything else. No major plot points. No major character events. It's just ridiculous. And, my, and that's really my thoughts on it. This is ridiculous. Atlas, what are you guys thinking? Why these guidelines? Why these rules? Heck, even if you try to play this Persona 5 on PS4 and just want to share that way, guess what? They have blocked it. You, you can't do it. You can do it on Steam. And on YouTube still, but they warn everyone, if you do this, they'll give you either a notification, or worse, a strike, and guess what? You won't be able to play that freak, you won't be able to post content anymore, you can file DMCA and say, I found the guidelines, or just try to defend yourself, but that, my friends, is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is unbelievable. What, what a, Atlas, come on Atlas, you made my favorite game of all time, Carrie, and I'm freaking, no, no, Catherine, and I love Catherine, it was amazing, but, but, but why all of a sudden I'm like, no, yeah, no, no one can share this, and do it, but here's the thing Atlas, people have found a way around this, have they got strikes, notifications, possibly, yes, and they have defended themselves, yes, but the thing is Atlas, I'm sorry man, you done fucked it up, at the end of this year, that you're going to be in my top 5 controversies of 2017 for the video game industry. Sorry, Atlas. Sorry, man. You had your chance. You had the chance to say anything up. We're just going to share this whole thing. You guys can go right ahead. Sorry, Atlas. You guys are motherfuckers. But at least you made an amazing game. I haven't played yet, but everyone else said it's great, so... Yeah. I'll, get, I'll do a review on Persona 5. But those are just my thoughts on the controversy. Have a good one, guys.